Yo, 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 YouTube. So we do it all straight from the garage once again with another video. Got a 2013 Dodge Challenger RT with the uh, 3.6. And we've got a change in oil pressure sensor. And from the research I've done, um, got to take the intake off. But uh, I found a video, shout out to Limo Garage. They had a video that's saying that um, if I remove the wiper cowl and some other things, I can get to it from the back side of the engine. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go through this process together, kind of see how this works. First thing I'm going to do is take these wipers off. Um, got a cap right here, two caps. You got to take them off. And then uh, there should be two nuts under there that you take off and you can remove these. So... I'll do that and um, I'm gonna mark these wipers because when you put them back on you kind of get them in the same same position so I got this little white chalk I'm gonna put on here just so when I put them back on I put them in the same spot and you don't have to this is just stuff that I do and then uh, I've already taken off the engine cover it just pops off I'm gonna take off this inlet tube and uh, yeah come back so um, stay tuned, we're gonna get through this together and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so now that I took this intake off and you don't have to, it's just, I don't like stuff in my way, so I took it off. I popped these covers off. It looks like two 15 millimeter bolts. So I'll take those off, or the wipers. And then it looks like we got a uh, Phillips head here and one on the other side and there's some plastic clips on the front that we have to pop out and that should hopefully take off this wiper cow so let me get started on that and then we'll be back all right so i got the cowl off you don't have to take these uh little plastic phillips heads off you got uh one two three four five six you have seven of these plastic clips that you got to take out and um i just use this little little thing i got from harbor freight to pull them up little plastic clips and once you do that and you take the wipers off and the lift right out now we got this strut bar here it looks like four maybe 12 or 13 millimeter bolts that got to come out and i should be able to lift this strut bar off looks like i got a zip tie to cut here but yeah, so this truck bar has to come off. This is the front of the vehicle, so ultimately we're looking at the passenger side and we need to get back here because that's where the uh, that's where the um, oil pressure sensor switch is. So I'm gonna get this truck bar off. You got another clip here, you gotta take off this on the strut bar and take out the four, I'm guessing 13 millimeter. I was right about the wipers, this is 15, so. I'm going to get that done and I'll be back. All right. So now that I've got the cowl removed and the strut bar, as you can see, kind of leaves you a nice open space back here. Um, there's a bracket that holds this piece right here on. I'm not sure what it is. Some sort of valve. But anyway, there's a bracket that holds it on and there's two 15 millimeter bolts on the transmission that hold that bracket on. I've already got my, um, see if you can see it. I've already got my extension, it's right here. I've already got my extension with the 15 on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these two bolts out. They're probably gonna be torqued and they're pretty good because they are for the, uh, they are in the transmission, holding the transmission to the engine, so. Get some leverage, get those two out, move that bracket back and hopefully that'll give me access to, uh, to the oil pressure sensor switch. Be back. All right, y'all, so I, uh, Got this bracket off. The two bolts at the bottom go in the transmission. And then, it looks like a vacuum pump or something of that nature. It's two uh, 10 millimeter bolts on top I took out. I'm not gonna unplug it, well, I can if I want to, but I'm just gonna move it to the side because it's really not in my way. So, it sits in that bracket like this and there's one um, vacuum line that plugs into it has a connector right here 
that I could disconnect, but I really don't need to. So I'm just gonna move it out of my way. And then this is the vacuum line that plugs into it. All you gotta do is press down on the green tab and pull it out and it comes right out. So now I should have access to uh, the uh, oil pressure switch and I will come back and show y'all that in a second. Okay, so uh, got back here. This is job is gonna be completely by feel it seems like cause I, you really can't see back here. I'm gonna see if I can stick the camera back here and you can kind of see where I have my extension. Well, that's your oil pressure switch. Um, the connector came off really easy. Sorry for the different angles, just trying to show you guys. Uh, this is the connector right here. And all you gotta do is just press the tab on top and pull it back. And then I felt around, it's a 27 millimeter uh, socket that I'm using. So I'll put my ratchet on here now, pull that out, and I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I got it out. I uh, had to go get this um, oil pressure switch socket. And the deal is, it's a very tight space. There's a coolant line down there and, and another sensor. So um, if you notice, this has layers in it. And this first layer will barely get on to the front of this switch, which will allow you to get it. So make sure if you don't have one, you go pick that up. I got that from AutoZone. I think it was like 15 bucks, but a regular socket is not gonna work with the, uh, the clearance that you have. So got the old one out and now we'll get the new one here put in. Go ahead and start it by hand and get it as tight as I can by hand. I put my socket on it, get it tightened up and get everything put back together. So hopefully this video will help somebody um, I could have taken the intake off, but then I would have had to replace the gaskets and torque everything down the specifications, move a bunch of hoses. So I just decided that this route was the easiest. Uh, you saw how I took the cowl off, so do everything in the opposite order and you should have a successful job. So this is We Do It All straight from the garage, man. I hope I helped somebody. If you guys got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Hey, I appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll keep it moving straight from the garage. We out.